What the hell? Mom, what are you doing here? I'm walking. Mom, where you at? Come on, let me take you home. No, I'm, f I'm fine. I'm fine. Mom, come on. I'm going home, okay? I'm, I'm going. going. Take you home. I gotta get my son money. Okay, I'll take you to him, okay? Get in the car and I'll take you to him. Gosh. All right, Mom. Oh, come on. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Come on, Mom. <sighs> come on. There you go. to think that people are too busy with their lives to really care what we're doing with our own. But there's always someone who cares. And whether we want to admit it or not, that someone is being affected by our choices. Once I finally woke up to that fact, the guilt was there to consume me. I never truly understood what regret felt like until now. It's all that I could do to just make it to the next day. I had to escape the reality that I was dealt. And that's what I got with my vice. It took me away from here 
and it took me back to them. Not a moment goes by when I don't wish that they were still here. Life's never been the same for Caleb and I since they've been gone. Caleb, baby, I can explain. Just get in the car. Caleb, I want to explain. Explain what, Ma? Huh? Explain how you always do this. I can't have one fucking night of normalcy without you messing it up. I was, I was just trying to get you some money so that you could have a good night. So you thought driving to my school drunk was a good idea? No, I didn't think it was a good idea. Whatever. I... Don't talk to me, just go to sleep or something. Thanks for ruining my night. Caleb. Caleb, please, just wait. I am sorry, You don't okay? get it, do you? Are you that blind, or do you even care about how your actions affect other people? I, I care. I you know, I tell everybody at school that you're sick. Every time you have an episode, I tell my work, or my friends, or my prom date that you're sick. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, ever since, okay. I miss them too, okay? But I'm trying to move on. And you're stuck here doing the same crap over and over again. How do you honor their lives? What, by killing yourself? Hey, look. That was the last time that I saw my son. I drank again that night until I passed out. And the next morning, he was gone. I was so busy trying to escape my pain and relive the past that I lost sight of the only thing that I had. I thought I was alone then, but now... I'd give anything to have my son back. <sighs> Thank you. Julia, thanks for sharing. I know that was difficult. Yeah. You know, honey, Recovery is like redemption. No two stories are the same. Everybody looks at it and wears it differently. But you have to be in it for the long haul, because it's a marathon, not a sprint. Three months. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs>